guys welcome to another juice motor parts tutorial and today I want to talk to you about a pretty essential tool that I'd recommend uh, anyone who has a motorized uh, bicycle or even let alone a two circuit engine who has any um, intentions of modifying that engine um, this tool I think is a pretty essential one for your collection and it is of course a torque wrench uh, there are many different kinds of torque wrenches uh, the three that I currently know of is this uh, hand lever style torque wrench. They're great. Um, I'll mention, I'll tell you the pros and cons of each. There's a ratchet style uh, torque wrench, which is, uh, this one isn't a ratchet style, it's just a traditional ratchet, but you'll see it kind of retrofitted with um, some kind of torquing mechanism on the head. Uh, and uh, last but not least, there'll be kind of a socket. Um, this is not a socket torque wrench, but it'll be an adapter that you would add on to, to a traditional socket um, that moderates the torque. So, uh, What's so important about a torque wrench? Why do you need it? Um, most importantly, uh, for securing the head of your engine block. Um, these have torque specifications that should be followed. Um, that prevents your head from warping under various stressful conditions, such as heat. You know, let's say if you have this, you know, bolt over here tightened, uh, and this one, this one isn't as tightened, and all these other three are tightened, or whatever it is. Uh, you know, when your engine is subject subjected to a lot of heat, what will happen is it'll kind of contour itself to the side that are to the sides that are tightened the most, and contour itself to the sides that are tightened the least. So what happens is you end up with kind of a head that's warped um, over time, and that's something that you don't want. It's bad for the engine; it puts a lot of a lot more strain and stress on the bolts. And um, it's overall just not a good uh, good experience, you know, or a good you know condition for the engine. So um, what uh, what we have here, what I what I have here is um, this kind of hand. Uh, hand lever style uh, torque wrench. I prefer these because uh, you get you get a real feel for the bolts when you're tightening things down. Uh, it just has a traditional socket head, and you just you know put your um, your size what is it 14 or 13 size. I kind of ended up losing the bolts for this uh, engine model here, but I'll demonstrate it on another on another kind of bolt. Um, and then you would uh, you know put it on your bolt, and then you would turn it. And the way it works is you'll have like this 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 red lever you know will will move in the direction um and it in indicate the amount of um the the amount of uh, torque that's you know that's uh, that you're applying to the bolt. I have this one in inch pounds um as opposed to some that traditionally have foot pounds um I guess it's all a preference just use an online converter uh so just so you guys know traditionally um this engine has a M8 stud and you want to tighten your head bolts down to something around 175 inch pounds. Um, I don't know the, the foot pound conversion off the top of my head but I'm sure I'll probably put it in there. <clears throat> and um, yeah that's how it works. So I'll give you a quick demonstration on how to use it. What I have here is a uh, M6 um, socket style allen key wrench and I'm just going to tighten a bolt on the side of this um, on the side of this engine block here. Let's just say this is crucial to the you know, hypothetically, this is extremely crucial to the functioning of the engine, and we need this to be at a certain bolt or a certain torque. So you just put it in there, you know, and then uh, afterwards, once you get it, you know, more than finger tight, then you can start start applying the torque. Uh, let's see, it's not there yet. All right, now we're talking. So if you look at the the, the dial on this, you'll see it slowly starting to move. Um, I don't really know what the torque ratings are actually wait, not yet. I don't know what the torque ratings are per se um, on these bolts. Uh, I can probably find out. So it's, it's, a little, it's a little difficult to see the torque wrench there but it's moving just you know just a little bit. Um, these bolts don't really have a lot of you know torque that they need. They're only M6. But um, hopefully you get the idea and of course if you have any um, any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment. We will try to get back to it, get back to you as uh, humanely possible as we could. And uh, it's an essential tool. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, get juiced.